सॉल्व टू वन सिक्स एक्स क्यूब माइनस वन जीरो एट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एटीन एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो हियर दे टोल्ड अस टू सॉल्व विच मीन्स वी शुड गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स फॉर दैट हियर वी हैव टू चेंज द एक्स टर्म वॉट आई मीन इज सी टू वन सिक्स एक्स क्यूब माइनस वन जीरो एट एक्स स्क्वायर इन प्लेस ऑफ प्लस एटीन एक्स ना वाई राइट प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड इन प्लेस ऑफ प्लस एटीन एक्स आई हैव रिटर्न प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स दैट्स इट नेक्स्ट now from these three terms what can be taken out common is 12x so here you get 18 you get 18x square minus from this 12x out so you get 9x plus 12x out you get 1 in the same way From these two terms, what can be taken out common is plus one. So here you get the same thing, equal to zero. Now, in this equation, we have come across quadratic. So I will factorize this quadratic over here. That is, eighteen x square minus nine x. Plus one. To factorize this, we should split the middle term. That is minus nine x. In place of minus nine x, now I write minus six x minus three x plus one. I am not doing factorization steps. Directly, I have split minus nine x to minus six x. Minus three x. Okay, next. Now from these two terms, what can be taken out common? Six x. Here you get three x minus from this six x out you get one. Now whatever you got here, here also you should get the same thing. From this three x gone inside, outside you get minus one. Even if you multiply and check, still you get the same thing. Now you take out three x minus one common. So here you have six x, and here minus one. Now, in place of this quadratic, we should write this. I repeat, in place of this quadratic, now I will write this. So this equation will change to twelve x three x minus one six x minus one. Here no change. Six x minus one equal to zero. Now from this entire equation, what can be taken out common is six x minus one. So six x minus one you write outside. Over here you are left with these two. That is twelve x times three x minus one. Over here you are left with plus one equal to zero. Now six x minus one. Here you open up the brackets in this way. You get thirty six x square minus twelve x plus one. Equal to zero. Now we got quadratic. I will factorize this quadratic over here. That is thirty six x square minus twelve x plus one. To factorize this, we should split the middle term. That is minus twelve x. In place of minus twelve x, now I write. Minus six x minus six x plus one. 
I am not doing factorization steps. Directly I have split. Minus 12x2 minus 6x minus 6x. Okay. Next. Now from these two terms what can be taken out common? 6x. So here you get 6x minus from this 6x out you get 1. Now whatever you got here, here also you should get the same thing. Now from this 6x gone inside, outside you get minus 1. Even if you multiply and check still you get the same thing. Now you take out 6x minus 1 common. So here you have 6x and here minus 1. Now in place of this quadratic, we should write this. I repeat. In place of this quadratic, now I will write this. So this equation will change to 6x minus 1, 6x minus 1, 6x minus 1 equal to 0. Now you observe each is 6x minus 1. So the base is same, Re result you will get the same base. And the power, you add the powers. 1 plus 1 plus 1 you get 3 equal to 0. More. They told us to solve, so we should find the value of x. For that, let us solve further. For that, first we should shift cube to the other side. So when you shift cube to the other side, it will become cube root 0 which is 0. Now I should remove minus 1 for that you add 1. So this cancel out you get 6x equal to 1. Now I should remove 6 so you divide by 6. You get x equal to 1 by 6. So we got only one value for x that is 1 by 6. This is our answer. Am I clear?